Hi everyone, welcome to the Grumpy Home Chef. Ho 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 and Merry Christmas and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to show you how to jazz up a chocolate mousse into a chocolate mousse tree. So for this you need chocolate, cream, condensed milk and tiny ice cream cones. Or if you're going to make them in a bigger pot you can use bigger ice cream cones. The other thing you need, which I forgot to grab, is some green M&Ms, but you'll see those at the end. Our technical difficulties is that Grumpy and I got a new camera. We thought we were recording the sound really well, which we were at the beginning, but then when we moved the camera, we must have knocked something and the sound didn't record very much at all. We got little snippets, it wasn't great. So we've decided that me, Manny, will do the voiceover because Grumpy is out today and we wanna to get this video up for you today. The next step to make this really delicious mousse is to melt the chocolate along with a can of condensed milk over a simmering pot of water on the stove. Aren't these cute? Santa's little baker. See, I'm getting into the whole Christmas theme. Once you've melted the chocolate with the condensed milk, you need to put it aside for about an hour and a half until it cools to room temperature. You don't put it in the fridge, just leave it on the bench and cover it up. The next step once that's cooled is to beat up your cream. Then you also need to make sure that your chocolate's still really smooth. So what Grumpy does is she puts it through the beaters and gets it nice and smooth before you fold the chocolate and the cream in together. When you're folding the chocolate and the cream in together, do it with a spatula. Don't use the beaters because it will separate. And that's it. That's how you make the chocolate mousse. It's really, really yummy. You can add a little bit of vanilla if you want to, but you don't need to. When you've got this together, you need to put them in the containers you want to serve them with. Now, we're making miniature Christmas trees to put on a platter for one of our Christmas parties. You can make them slightly bigger and put them in bigger containers and use really big ice cream cones on top to do the same thing. If you wanted to do an individual one that way, we're doing it on the small version. This mousse needs to go in the fridge for six hours, but preferably overnight. It will be set and ready to go so that you can move on to the next bit, which is decorating it. As we said, we're using these on a platter for a Christmas party. They make really yummy edible decorations and you can use them for any Christmas event you've got. And they're incredibly easy, so you can also get the kids in to help. What you need to decorate them is obviously the cone that we talked about earlier, some more melted chocolate and these crushed up red and green M&Ms. You could use any crushed up red and green chocolates. It just gives it that Christmas colour. You want to roll the cone in the chocolate like Grumpy's done. She's put some out on the paper, rolled the cone in it and then rolled the cone through the crushed M&Ms and you sit it on top of the mousse. And there you go. You now have a beautiful chocolate mousse Christmas tree an edible decoration and something great for your next Christmas party. If you like this video, be sure to give it the big thumbs up and don't forget to let us know if you decide you're gonna make this or if you've got something else you make that's an edible decoration. If you want to see some more Christmas themed content, make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell because it will notify you when new content comes up. Thanks for watching. Check us out on social media at Grumpy Home Chef. Catch you next time.